Hello everyone, my name is Mr. DJ Sock Puppet, and welcome to Let's Play Ed, Ed, and Eddie, The Misadventures. This is going to be my new Let's Play. So, I'm going to go here, start new game. Let's see, that's my practice file here. I'm going to go to uh, Ed with two D's game, double D. So, uh, actually I'm going to stop talking for a bit. There's going to be a cutscene coming up and I don't want you all to be disturbed. I'll talk a bit after that is done. So, Sockhead, where are we going to get enough ice to make snow cones? I'm sure we could locate sufficient frost shavings in the backyard coolers of the neighborhood kids, Eddie. I am cool like a cabbage, guys. <laughs> Okay, so, anyway, yeah, this is my new S plan, like I said. Uh, I grew up with this show. It was one of my favorites, and I remember I asked for this game for Christmas one year, and uh, I got it, and uh, that's why I have it now. Not really an epic story. But uh, we're starting out here. we got to start collecting these uh, ice cubes. You see, we got zero out of five on this side. So there's five of them. we got to get five, because there's five. And uh, basically what this first level is, it's just a uh, tutorial level. It's just, just telling you all the moves you can do and uh, with the buttons. Jeez, I shouldn't have talked there. I'm going to try to stay quiet during all these cutscenes because they tend to come up sometimes. Okay, so yeah, we got one right here. I want to go ahead and say right now that I'm not sure how I'm going to be dividing these up. These could end abruptly, and the episode after that could uh, start abruptly, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, we have two out of five now. And uh, if, as, if you could tell by the uh, bottom of the screen here, I'm playing the uh, PlayStation 2 version. Okay, so as you can see here, we have this wall blocking us. You guys push me, and and uh, as Ed is explaining to us, if we switch to him by using the L1 button... No, we uh, the R1 buttons. Yeah, we're on Ed now. Then we use L1 to use their special ability. Ed is the batter Ed. Okay, so is this uh, where we find? Yes. Uh, as you can see here, here's a chicken. I'm just uh, going to stop here and explain what this is. There's a chicken in every level of the game, every main level at least. And uh, if you can catch it within a certain time limit, you get an Easter egg. Uh, I should probably also mention right now this is going to be a hundred percent run, so I will be getting everything. So uh, yeah, let's go get him. And, uh, yeah, that's explaining it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty easy. Okay, so, yeah, one out of six. There's six main levels in the game. Okay. No. Oh. These... Pay attention to these red squirrels here, because they will hurt you. These blue orbs here, they give you energy back. Okay, as you can see over here, there's a dog barking our way, and it's next to a cooler. So, how are we supposed to get rid of that? Well, uh, if you're paying attention, we gotta cat running around over here somewhere somewhere yeah there we go okay so just pick it up with Ed and then Gary him on over I'm sorry guys if I'm stumbling across here I'm just trying to explain everything and play at the same time and it's not easy hopefully as this goes along it won't be as bad okay so yeah we did that. Three out of five. As, if you can't tell, this is a game of collectibles. I mean, we got we collecting the ice cubes here. I've told you about collecting the Easter eggs. If we go over here, there's another collectible we're gonna start doing. There's a sandbox in every level, and these sandboxes will give you costumes. And if in the first three levels, if you get all three costumes, you unlock a bonus level. And the same thing for the last three levels, you unlock another bonus level. I will be going over those as well. Now before we head over there, if you go all the way back over here, we will find yet another collectible. That is a jawbreaker. There, there are 40, 40 of these in the game. Okay, let's go over here. Look! Another cooler! More ice for my scam! <laughs> but first, we gotta get rid of that loudmouth sister of yours, Ed. Quick, Sockhead! Use your slingshot on Jimmy's dolls! Violence only begets violence, Eddie. Do it, you sissy! Watch those water balloons! Fine. 
but it will be on your guilty conscience. So this part is basically here to introduce us to uh, Double D's slingshot ability. So if we j hop onto this table, push R2 here, and aim ever so slightly, aim a bit, aim a bit above is what you're gonna want. So we just get above all three of these dolls here and hit all three. You know, I always wondered, why is that gate so much bigger than them? Okay, anyway. Okay, we're now at four out of five. This is great. We need more ice. Okay. So basically, we want to get uh, Jimmy and Sarah out of the house here, so if we switch to Ed, we could lift and throw some of these squirrels into the window to scare them out. Yes, uh, Ed also has a lift and throw ability. Each of the characters has their own little special ability or two. So, Ed we saw has the batter Ed, and he has a lift and throw ability. Double D has a slingshot with water balloons, and uh, you'll see more of them later, and uh, we'll go over them as they come along. But right now, let's get to the current objective, which is you know, throwing these squirrels in here. I guess I should probably mention, if we go to the pause menu here, uh, you see uh, the scam, the scam title, the main objective, which is what you want to complete throughout this whole level, and the current objective, which is what we want to do right now. So, the main thing is to collect all the ice cubes, but currently we need to find a way to open Jimmy's door, which we're doing. And uh, here's the options. Uh, we got costumes and Easter eggs. We'll go over that later. There's status. That shows how much we've collected. We only need one jawbreaker left in this particular level. And uh, that that's the pause menu, everyone. All right. Yeah, like I said, I'm sorry this is going slow. Just trying to explain everything all at once. I love Ed and Eddie's music, by the way, both here and in the show. I make a good squirrel tosser, huh, Eddie? Yeah! Nice job, Mono Bro. Let's head in. This first level shouldn't be taking long at all, but I'm making it longer by explaining everything. Which y'all could probably do them on your own anyway. Okay, so if we get next to this fridge, we can lift and throw it at this target here. And that also gives us the last, uh, the last ice cube. Okay, so basically do what Eddie said, use batter red on this door. Okay, well ideally, you don't want a fridge in the way and you just go through and destroy everything. Here we also can collect some more collectibles. Money. Uh, or cash, I guess, as it would be called. But, uh... You could probably guess what that does. It lets us buy some extra stuff that we can't get otherwise. And yeah, we just get transported out the door there. It doesn't make much sense. But uh, yeah, let's uh, head over here. Under Rolf's place. And get transported once again. So, Rolf's not letting us use his machine, well, we're gonna need to find a way to let him do that. So why don't we create a problem? Let's use batter it on his, uh, pig cage here. Not a cage, but pen. Yeah, that's it. That's the word. We get to use the machine when we're done. <laughs> okay, one thing I like to do is the pigs have a tendency to escape the pen even after you put them in there. So what I like to do first is I like to get in front of here and uh, just uh, put a piece of hay so they have a harder time getting out. So yeah, lift and throw the pigs. Seems kind of mean what you do to them. You, you hit them with Ed's head. And then just throw them. But they don't seem to mind too much. Like I said, this is a tutorial level, so some of the things can seem simple and repetitive. In fact, we're, we're almost done. This level's really short. But like I said, I'm making it longer by explaining everything. This, this could easily be done in under 10 minutes, and I'm over 10 minutes right now. Okay, so last big here. 
And Rolf just lets us in. Okay, so we get transported in here. Um, before we do anything else, if you go over here, there's another Jawbreaker. So that completes all the collectibles that we could find here. And now, this is another one of Double D special abilities, so let's switch to him. If you go up to machinery that needs to be fixed and you press the triangle button, he'll fix it up for you. And uh, when you see this, that means we finished the level, and uh, we are currently 11% done with the game, which is where we need to be at right now. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Let's watch a cutscene. All right, so we finished game one. So uh, yeah, since that was so short, I don't think I'm gonna need to cut in the middle of the video there, but I will probably need to do that in the future. So once again, sorry if it ends abruptly, starts abruptly. Uh, I just gotta figure out how to edit all this together. Uh, this is the cul-de-sac. This is basically the hub world of this game, and uh, I think I'll go over that next time. So. Uh, on the next part of Ed and Eddie the Misadventures, I will go over the hub world for you and then enter level 2. So, I've been Mr. G. Sock Puppet, and I will see you all next time.